Hey guys, Jonesy here, Custom Kids Cars, and today's video is about the Power Wheels Jeep. And if you're watching this video, you probably have something that looks like this, or maybe not that extreme, but uh, basically, Power Wheels has an under-engineered under front suspension, so where the spindles come through, there's just not a lot of room so that you're getting a lot of wiggle and it oblongs these holes. So check out this video and we'll show you what we do to brace it and support it and get your wheels back to square. All right. Well, this broken front end definitely contributed to our severely cambered wheels. You can see that it's broken so that it was causing this to flex, which wore out the tires even more. So the last step is to just remove the spindle from this old guy. And this is basically garbage. If you had to, you could probably put a piece of metal over this and rivet it, like what we're gonna do to the top here. But uh, this is so wore out. So basically, this is the standard problem with the Gator, or I'm sorry, with the this Jeep, is it oblongs this hole, and it really comes down to that it's a engineering flaw because there needs to be a thicker material here so that it has some bite. But we're gonna take care of that. Okay guys, so this is how you install the stainless steel plates. So basically, we've got it cut to length and width and we drilled 5 16 in from the end, ended up with a 7 16 hole. And you can see just how much flex there is in there. Now, in the video, I screwed up and I drilled the two pilot holes for the rivet in the middle. Well, then I realized that there's actually a injected support inside this plastic here. I can't even see it, didn't even think about it, but there's a like an I-beam type support in there. So, you're going to want to offset your holes, and when you drill through this, and you set it on top of the front member here, you're gonna wanna push down on this, and then, drill your 3 16 hole because what happens is is as there's the bat the weight of the battery the weight of the units the live load of the kids it's going to push this spindle back so you want to offset that by pushing it out so that way when there's force imposed upon it it's going to hold it in place um Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and rivet this plate down. 
I've got a 3 16 I believe it's half inch uh, shoulder on this or throat, whatever you want to call it. So we're just going to put that in the old rivet gun and rivet it in place. And if you really wanted to, you could actually put a washer underneath. I'm not going to worry about this on this unit. I'm basically grateful that I'm keeping it out of the landfill. I'm gonna clean it up and sell it. So, you can see that's much more rigid there. The next thing to do is we're going to uh, reflatten out our push nut here and place that back on there and put it back in the unit.